The National Urban League chose Fort Lauderdale as the host city for its annual conference this year, happening right now. This year's theme, Save Our Cities, Education, Jobs, and Justice. CBS4 anchor Erica Sargent was there as the events got underway and spoke to the leader of the organization. Erica? Well, Elliot, thousands of people are here in South Florida this week for the conference. And today, before Urban League President and CEO Mark Morial officially opened up the first day events, I sat down with him for a one on one interview covering a variety of topics. And one of those making headlines the Urban League stance on how law enforcement treats minorities, given recent cases like the arrest and death of Sandra Bland in Texas and the death of Freddie Gray in Baltimore. Here's some of what Moriel had to say. But we don't want to point the finger at every single police department in every single city across the nation. But what we've seen uh, is really law enforcement that's out of sync with how to police the modern American city. You see uh, violence, you see police officers crossing the constitutional line, you see uh, a quickness to respond with violent and deadly force. This is unacceptable in 21st century America. And if we're looking at what some of the critics would say, they talk about the other side of this, the people who were getting arrested and say their behavior needs to change with the interaction with police. What's your response to that? It's important that police are there to protect and to serve. Uh, and, and no doubt, uh, this is about police accountability. And I don't think the issue should be indeed switched simply because one may have been, quote, rude to a police officer or spoken, quote, back to a police officer in the case of Sandra Bland does not justify the officer losing his temper, pulling her out of the car, and then she ends up on the ground in a jail cell for three days. It's very, very important uh, not to allow the issues to be confused. Well, the Urban League has created a 10-point plan that Morial says will improve law enforcement accountability. And, Elliot, we talked about a variety of topics, including the presidential, Republican, and, and Democratic presidential hopefuls that will be at the conference. That includes Hillary Clinton, Jeb Bush, Ben Carson, and many more. So it's definitely a packed event. It's an influential group, so it's no surprise they have all those candidates there. Yes, and we'll have this complete report coming up. All right, thanks a lot, Erica. And also, you can watch Erica's interview this Sunday at 10 a.m a.m. on Focus on South Florida on our sister station, My 33.